Hello and welcome to today's social studies lesson. So first of all guys, can we all turn to wave and say a big hello to our friends on camera. Hello. And we'll begin by doing our meditation sequence. So I will sit down, take two fingers, find our heart center, left hand on our laps and close our eyes. When you're ready, guys, you can open your eyes and come back to the room. Excellent. And next, we'll do our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And we can begin by stretching up high to the sky. As high as we can. And then back down low to touch our toes. Let's go high one more time. And this time, can we go tippy toe high? And while we're there, let's have a way side to side. Very good. And then down to our toes once more. Then stand up straight, hands on hips. And let's have a wiggle side to side. Wiggle side to side. Stop. And then another wiggle. Stop. Forwards, backwards. Forwards, backwards. Forwards, backwards. And stop. And then we can go round and round. Round and round. Round and round. And stop. And now we can go back the other way. So round and round the other way. Round and round. And stop. And now let's shake it out, guys. Arms and legs, we can shake it out. Shake it out. Very good. And to finish, we will do five claps. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. Have a seat. So welcome to today's social studies lesson. For in our previous social studies lesson, we learned about some of the basic functions of money. Recently, we've been learning a lot about money and how we can use it and do different things. And in the previous lesson, we learned about money's basic functions. But can anybody remember how many basic functions were there? Correct, there were four. Well remembered, guys. So let's write that phrase on the board first. Four. B A S I C for basic and then functions. U N C T I O N S. Functions. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, what the word functions means is uses, it's another word for use. So basically, there are four uses of money. O-F, 
and money, M-O-N-E-Y. So all together, guys, we've got four basic functions of money. Okay, now for the next question, who can remember some of the basic functions? What type of things can we do with money? Excellent. Rule number one, I'm sorry, reason number one, exchange. Say for example, this afternoon I want to go to the shop and I want to buy a bottle of water. Can I just walk into the shop, get the water and go? No, that would be stealing. We need to do something to give to the shop so that we can have the water. And that's what we use money for. Money is used for the exchange of goods and services. So when we want something, we can take it, but we first need to exchange it with money. So that was rule number one. Exchange. E-X-C-H-A-N-G. The first use of money to exchange for goods and services. But how about the second reason, guys? Now that we've exchanged it, but what happens sometimes if we want to get something, but we haven't got the money with us at the moment? What can we do if we want to get something, but we haven't got the money? It's something called defer payment. Remember the phrase, buy now, pay later. That's what this means to defer payment. So let's write that phrase on the board too. Defer, D-E-F-E-R, and payment, P-A-Y-M-E-N-T. Has anybody ever heard of a credit card? When you're older, you might get a credit card. And what that means is, you might not have the money with you on the day, but you can go shopping, and with your credit card, you can actually buy or purchase the goods. And then, at a later date, you pay for them off your credit card. And that's what we mean by defer payment. Now, how about the third reason, guys? Something to do with value. Now we're talking about value, which is like price. Measure value, yes. Measure, M-E-A-S-U-R-E. V-A-L-U-E. Measure value. When we go to shops, everything has a price. And the word price is another word for value. But we want to know how different things cost. And that's why we have a price. Say, for example, Bangpon wanted to buy a bicycle. Bangpon, you want to buy a bicycle. And in one shop, the bicycle is 500 baht. But then you go to another shop, and the same bicycle is 400 baht. Which one would you buy? 500 or 400? 400, yes. We'd buy the one for the cheaper value. If it's the same bike, it doesn't matter. But we will compare the prices and measure the value. And then the final reason for having money, still to do with value, but not measure value, Remember when we talked about banks, what do we do with our money in banks? Store value, yes. S-T-O-R-E, and value. When you guys are older, after you finish school and university, you will go on to get jobs. And then, at the end of the month, you will get the money for doing your job. That's called your wage. And what you might want to do with your wages is put some of it in the bank so that you can store its value. Because money is very good to use. Money very rarely goes down in value. It usually goes up, especially if you put it into a bank and you can earn something called interest. So the four basic uses again, guys. Exchange, defer payment, measure value, and store value. They are the four basic functions of money. So well done, guys. Very well remembered. <laughs> what we're going to do in today's lesson is we're going to stay with money, but we're going to look at some different terms for money. 
Now, if I say to you the word currency, does anybody know what currency means? That's okay, because you're only learning about it today. Okay, I'll give you a different question. What money do we use in Thailand? Baht. Okay, but say I go back home to England, can I use Thai baht in England? No. no. I have to use the money in England, and that's what's known as its currency. The money in England is pounds. And it's the same if I come from England to Thailand. I can't use English pounds in Thailand. I have to use the Thai money. So what we have to do is take our currency and exchange. And these are the two words that we're going to be looking at today in relation to money. So now we have a PowerPoint presentation for our students to observe, listen to, and also practice speaking some of the different types of currency and the way we can exchange it. So let's turn to look at the TV screen, please, guys. So let's take a look at our PowerPoint presentation about currency and exchange. Yes. Now look in the picture here. What can you see in the picture? Money, yes. But money from all different types of countries. We can see here we have some Thai money. Here, American money. Here is English money. And then other money from different parts of the world too. And what we call the money from the different countries in the world is currency. Each country has its own currency. Like in Thailand, we have baht and satang. In England, pounds. In America, dollars. Yes. So let's take a look at some of the different types, guys. Currency is the money used as a unit of account in a country. Yes, money is the big term for everywhere in the world. Every country in the world has money. So every country's money is different. And that's what we mean by the word currency. The currency of a country is used for the exchange of goods and services and the repayment of debts. Yes. Now you can see in the picture here, somebody is selling some goods. There are some goods in this plastic bag here. And then the other person is buying the goods. So they are handing over the money. And this is what we mean by the exchange of goods and services. The currency of Thailand is the baht and the satang, which we all know because we're all in Thailand and we learned about Thai currency previously. But let's look at some other countries, see if we can find out the currency in other countries around the world. The currency of the United States of America, also known as USA, is the dollar. Yes, here in the picture, you can see one dollar bill. Yes, the banknotes in America, they call them bills. One dollar bill. You see here, the one for one dollar in the country, the United States of America. The currency of the United Kingdom, also known as UK, is the pound. Yes, and this is where I come from. The United Kingdom is four countries. England, Wales, Scotland, and Ireland. And all four countries together is the United Kingdom. And they use the banknotes known as the pounds. So if you go to England, make sure you get some pounds so you can buy things. The currency of Japan is the yen. Yes, 
The money they use in Japan is known as yen. And you can see here, this is a 1,000 yen note. The number is 1,000. And I think I can't read Japanese, but this might say yen. The currency of Europe is the euro. Yes. Now, Europe isn't a country. Europe is a group of countries known as a continent. And I think there's about 28 countries in Europe, like Spain, Italy, Germany. All these different countries are together as Europe. And in every country, they use the euro. You can see the flag here, which is blue, and all the yellow stars. Each star represents a country. The currency of China is the yuan. Yes. Has anybody been to China? Nobody. Okay. Well, in the future, if you want to go to China, you have to get this type of money, yuan. And this is a 100 yuan note. The currency of Vietnam is the dong. Yes. So you can see how each country has its own money and its own name. Dong. Yes. This is a, I think, 500,000 dong note. The currency of Cambodia is the real. Yes. The real is what they use in Cambodia. Not baht, not dong, not pound. If you go to Cambodia, you have to use the real. And you can see some of the Cambodian writing here. Can any of you guys read this? No? Looks a, Cambodia looks a little bit similar to Thai, but I don't think it's close enough. You see the writing in Cambodia? Looks a little bit like Thai writing, but not the same. And then the currency of India is the rupee. Yes, if you go to India, they use rupees. Does anybody know who this person is? A very famous person in India called Mahatma Gandhi. Yes, he's died now, but he was a very, he's like the father of India, or modern India. And I think he's on all of the banknotes. So lots of countries and lots of different types of currency. Now, the foreign exchange rate is the rate at which the currency of one country can be exchanged with another. Say, for example, Pak Bung, tomorrow you want to go to America. So what you need to do, you need to take your Thai baht to the bank. And with your Thai baht, you need to exchange for American dollars. And you see here, you have the Thailand flag for the baht, and this is the exchange rate of the Thai money. And then, here, we have the American money. So it tells you, if you give so much baht, how many dollars you will get. And that's what we call by exchange rate. If we go to different countries, we have to get their currency. We exchange it for our own currency. The foreign exchange rate changes on a daily basis. Yes, like one day it can go up, the baht can go up in value a little bit, and the next day it might go down. You see here, this is for the American dollar. And look at it, you've got February, November, August. All through these dates you can see the line going up and down. And that's the value of the money changing and has to be checked before changing currency every time. 
Yes, before you exchange the money, you have to check to see how much money you can get. Any questions, guys? Okay, very well done. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the PowerPoint presentation so that they can learn about the concepts of currency, which is the money in all of the different countries around the world, and exchange, which is what we need to do with different types of currency when we visit other countries. And coming up, we've got a flashcard exercise for our students to practice which money comes from which country. But first of all, guys, time for our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And for this sequence, we'll have a game of teacher says. So listen carefully, guys. If teacher says, we can do. If teacher doesn't say, don't do. Ready? Hands in the air. <laughs> teacher says, hands in the air. Teacher says, jogging on the spot. Teacher says, arms side to side. Teacher says, arms forwards and backwards. And stop. <laughs> teacher says, stop. Okay, teacher says, stand up straight. Keep your arms still. And teacher says, turn around. Teacher says, turn back the other way. And back the other way one more time. Excellent, guys. Teacher says, arms in the air. Teacher says, arms down. Teacher says, left hand in the air. Teacher says, swap. Teacher says, swap. Teacher says, swap. Swap. Teacher says, arms down. And teacher says, let's go into a ball. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, jump. Teacher says, jump. And teacher says, please sit down. Okay, so now it's time for our flashcards exercise. So teachers, what you need to do before the lesson is print off all of the flashcards, which all have a different type of currency or money on them. And what we're going to do is we're going to give flashcards to our students, one pair student, and they have to bring that flashcard forward with the picture of the money on and have to write what country and the name of the currency it is, remembering from the PowerPoint presentation. So, are we ready, guys? Let's see who can go with the first flashcard. Let's see who can do the first one. And the first flashcard today is with Nadia. So, Nadia, come and join me at the front of class, please. Okay, so Nadia, can you show it to your friends? Who can remember what currency is this country from, guys? America. America. And can anybody remember what it's called? Dollar. dollar. Yes, you can see on the money it says America and then dollar. So now, Nadia, can you place it on the board anywhere you like, please? And then, underneath on the paper, can you write America and dollar to show the country and the name of the currency? So, America, A-M-E-R-I-C-A. Excellent. And then, underneath the currency, which is dollar. The name of the currency in America, dollar. D O L L A R. Excellent, Nadia. Well done. So, all together, guys, America, dollar, which is the name of the currency and where it comes from. Nadia, that was brilliant. High five and a big round of applause for Nadia, please, guys. So teachers, you can see the activity that we're doing in our classroom. You can pause the video now and do the same activity with your own students. And remember to use a different flashcard with each student. Have them write on the board and then practice speaking together. Okay.
the time for our next student with our next flashcard. And now the flashcard is with Dan. Okay, so Dan, come and join me at the front of class, please. And can you show your currency to your friends? Can anybody remember what money this is? It's from England, yes, and it's known as the pound. Yes, if we have a look here, we can see Bank of England. And then 10 pounds. This is a 10 pound note. So Dan, can you find a place on the board and then write England and pounds anywhere you like. So England, A, N, G, L, A, N, D. This is the money I have to use when I go home. And then pounds, P, O, U, N, D. Excellent, Sam. And all together we can say England, pound. If you go to England, the currency used is the pound. Dan, that was great. High five and a big round of applause for Dan, please, guys. So let's keep going. Let's see what the next currency is. Who can be next? The next flashcard can be with Bank One. So Bank One, come and join me at the front of class and show your currency to your friends. What do we think, guys? Any ideas? Japan, Japan. correct. And yen. yen, yes, the Japan yen. So Bank One, can you find somewhere on the board for your currency? Okay, you can go up top. And now, let's help Bankpon spell Japan and Yen. J-A-J-A-P-A-N. Excellent. Well done, Bankpon. And the name of the currency, Yen. Y-E-N. Perfect. So all together, Japan... Yen. That was brilliant. Pang Pong, very well done. High five. Big round of applause for Pang Pong, please, guys. Okay, next currency. Let's see who can go next. And now it's Prao's turn. Prao will come forward and show you her currency. Okay, Prao, so show it to your friends. What can we see, guys? The clue to this one, it's not a country. It's a big group of countries known as Europe. And the name of the currency, Euro, which is short for Europe, okay? So, Prow, can you find a place on the board for your currency? Anywhere you like. Prow's going down at the... Oh, oh, no, she's going here. Okay, that's fine. And now, can Prow write Europe and Euro? So, Europe, A... U R O and then P E Correct R O Excellent player, well done. So all together this currency Europe Euro Excellent player, that was brilliant. High five. Big round of applause for Preo, please, guys. Okay, so we've got four currencies on the board so far. Let's see what's next. And now, the next flash is with Pak Bung. So Pak Bung, come and show your money or your currency to your friends. Can anybody remember this one? China, correct. Now, China, it's a hard one to pronounce, I think. Anybody have a go? China, they have the Yuan. Yuan. Yes. So, Pak Bung, where will you put your Yuan? Excellent. So, there you go. So, first of all, we need the place, China. C H I N A. Excellent. And then the name of the currency, Yuan. Y. U A N. Excellent. So 
very well done. So all together, China, China. the Yuan. Pak Bung, that was excellent. High five. Big round of applause for Pak Bung, guys. <laughs> and the next currency now. Now it's Lakao's turn. Lakao, bring your flash to the front and show your friends. Okay. So what do we think? What country? Vietnam. Vietnam. Yes, well remember, this is Vietnam. Now who remembers what the name of the currency in Vietnam is? Dong. Dong. So Lakao can write Vietnam and Dong. V I E T N A M. That's okay. And then the one is a Ned. So just like that. That's perfect. Vietnam and then the currency Dong. D O N G. Perfect, Lakao. Well done. So we can say together, Vietnam, Dong. Lakao, that was brilliant. High five. <coughs> Big round of applause for Lakao, please, guys. <laughs> and we've got two more currencies to go. Who hasn't gone yet? Who hasn't? I know. See you. Over to you. Joe, come and bring your flashcard to the front, please. So we've got two currencies left. Who can remember where this one comes from? Cambodia, correct. An extra point, what's the name of the currency in Cambodia? Real, yes, well done. So Chu, can you find somewhere on the board? Where will you put your currency? Okay, Chu's going here, that's great. Now, let's help Chu write Cambodia and real. So Cambodia, C, C A M B O D I A. Excellent, Hugh. Well done. And then the name of the currency, the real R I E L. R I E L. Perfect, you. That's great. So all together, guys, Cambodia, Cambodia. real. That's the name of the currency in Cambodia. Chu, that was excellent. High five. Big round of applause for Chu, please, guys. <laughs> and we've got one more currency left, and we've got one more student. So let's see who can go now. And now it's the turn of Pat. Pat, come and join me at the front. And can you show your currency to your friends? India. India. And the name of the currency in India? Rupee. Rupee. Okay. So, Pat, can you find somewhere on the board for your rupee? Excellent. Okay. So, let's help Pat to write India. I. N. D. I A and then the name of the currency in India R U P E E. Well done, Pat. So the name of the currency is India Rupee. Pat, that was excellent. High five and a big round of applause for Pat, please, guys. So now we've got all our currencies on the board, let's practice speaking once more. Cambodia, real. India, rupee. Europe, euro. America, dollar. Japan, yen. England, pound. China, yuan. And Vietnam, dong. Guys, that was brilliant. Very well done. <laughs> and now it's time for our worksheet part of the lesson. So teachers, make sure every student in your class gets their own worksheet. And what we've got today is we've got eight different types of currency, the money from the different countries. What our students need to do is they need to look at each money 
and then write the correct country and name of that money underneath. So remember guys, eight different types and eight types in the vocabulary too, which means you only need to use each one one time. So give our students around 10 minutes for this activity. And what's the first thing to do guys? Write our names on top indeed. So Pak Boong, this one's for you. You're welcome. Nadia, for you. You're welcome. Chu, this one's for you. You're welcome. Down, for you. You're welcome. Hello, here's yours. You're welcome. Bank one for you. You're welcome. And Lakka. So names on top, guys, and then have a look at the money that you've learnt about today. You can refer to the board, or you can look on your word box on your worksheets. And the first one is the one we use here, Thai bars. The teachers just monitor the class and help our students with anything they need. And this is good practice if ever you go on vacation or holiday because you need to know what money you will need to use. Well done, guys. Everyone's doing a great job. Well done, Pat. Pat Boom, very good. Okay. So this one, what do you think? America. Or another word for America, USA. Guys, America or USA, both are right. USA stands for United States of America. So you can see here, USA. Or you can just write America. Both are correct. Well done, Chu. Excellent bank one. Well done. Down, Prel. Very good. What is this one? India. What do we use in India? Rupee. Excellent, guys. Brilliant. Well done, Pat. Working very well. Yes? Like we can say, like America is USA. For England, you can use UK. There's two different names for the places. Welcome back to the class. We hope your students enjoyed the worksheet exercise where they had to look at the eight different types of money known as currency and then write the correct country and the name of the currency underneath. My students here all did a superb job, so very well done, guys. And that's all we've got time for today. So we hope you've enjoyed the lesson and found it interesting. And next time you have to go to one of these countries, you now know what, cu what currency you have to use. So bye for now, and we'll see you again in the next lesson. Can we turn to wave and say goodbye, guys? Goodbye. Bye-bye. See you again soon.